Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, I just had a revelation from God where I saw Putin demanding that Donald Trump unconditionally surrender to Russia, China, North Korea, Iran, Alliance, which also has taken Saudi Arabia and the Middle East. And the only nation in the Middle East that's left is little Israel. Turkey has turned. And now we have to send our forces to Eastern Europe. So they're not going to be in the United States where we need them. And we're distributing our armies all over. All over there at North, in North Korea. But it's going to be a worldwide thermonuclear war. And the revelation I had is where God talks about how he has put it into their heart. Revelation 17, 17. Okay, so the beast, the Antichrist system, Kim Jong-un, Putin, the Ayatollah of Iran, Turkey, Trudeau of Canada, Edrogan, the guy from Turkey, Jinping, these are the ten leaders that it speaks of in Revelation 17 verse 12 where it says the ten horns you saw are ten kings. So they're individuals who rule over in the end times. One of those ten kings is Kim Jong-un. If you look at how he lives, he lives like a king. Another king would be uh, Putin. He's never leaving power. And then you got uh, the Ayatollah. Same situation. So these are the kings in the end days. And there's ten of them. Okay, so Obama is, is one of them as well. Okay. And in one hour, which is the hour of God's judgment, the hour of World War Three, so to speak, the sixth seal of Revelation, worldwide thermonuclear war, when every island is moved, every mountain is moved, worldwide, and the sky is rolled up like a scroll, And then at the end of it, there's a time of no wind, Revelation 7, verse 1. So that's what's going to happen. That's World War III. And these ten kings come to power just as it says. But look at what it says about these ten kings in verse 17. For God has put it into their hearts to accomplish His purpose... And now God's purpose is to fulfill every single word that is written in his word. Exactly as it is written in his word. So it's Jesus who actually pulls the sixth seal. And makes the decision as to when all these things happen. But he's using these wicked men for God has put it in their hearts to accomplish his purpose. And it says it right there in God's word. So a lot of people will disagree with that. No, 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 no. And then they're, well, you know, it says it right there. That the beast, the ten horns you saw, will hate the prostitute. That's America. They will bring her to ruin. That's the lukewarm, disobedient Christians. They will leave her naked. And then it says he will make war against the saints and overcome them. But later it says when, he, when they make war against the lamb... They get defeated and the Lamb triumphs over them because he is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And that's all right there if you get your Bible out and find it. So, then it goes on to talk about fallen, fallen is Babylon the Great. And it tells you she's become a haunt for all demons, false teaching and lies even in the church. Every unclean and detestable animal. And then it just goes on to tell you how terrible America became. And how the how terrible the destruction is for the United States. And so these ten kings. Kim Jong-un. It's God going to push him to launch those nukes. Along with Putin and Obama. You know Obama. Don't forget he said the end of the republic never looked better. And he had his Islamic factions, Black Lives Matter, and his Benghazis, and his Extortion 17s. 
and it's Scalia. I'm just saying. So all that all adds up. It's just taking a long. It's just like the Bible says. Jesus is is being a long time in coming. We keep thinking, when's this going to happen? And everybody's setting a date. I'm sorry, but I don't remember in 1999 everybody setting dates every other week. Like they have been. And seeing all the signs in the skies. And then the news backs everything up. And then God's word tells you exactly how it's going to go down. So get ready. And all those people who say it's a pre-tribulation rapture are actually literally going to be proven wrong especially when there's a time of no win and they'll be like what happened to the first seal I thought the first seal was never in the bowl and then they have to come to the conclusion that I was right about that too I hate to be arrogant and say I was right about all this stuff but I was right and the more things that happen the more accurate I'm seeing myself being I'm like wow 